Hi guys, welcome to part 11 of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series. We all know it's mid-September, but I don't think I have enough open tasks yet. So guess what? I will start working, I will start really working on the timid section number two. And no, I will not close the third timid section yet. I know I am annoying, but I work like that. Then it is a new part, a new week, so it is time to welcome a new building. And this time it will be a new building for the left side of the layout. I say building, not house. Shh. Then, uh, then I did what I told you in part 10. I elevated the two new sections of the layout. But doing that, I realized that I crashed against a problem. I have two new elevated sections, but no mean to access them. I know, I have ramps, I have stairs, I have plenty of new stairs, but I'm stuck now. I don't know right now how to get access to those sections. I will try to find a way, at least for one of them, but I will certainly need to plunge into some old times architecture books to get some inspiration and I'm talking about real books, the ones with paper pages, okay, and that smell so good because they smell old, okay. Uh, I'm dumb, I know. Then, uh, then maybe some other surprises, maybe not, but let me show you something. Let's continue guys. Each season I really struggle trying to find new ways of uh, accessing a level from the lower level. Uh, roads, um, uh, ramps, stairs, I know I'm bad for four stairs but it's starting to get really difficult because uh, <laughs> I've modeled, I've designed, I planned many, many, many different types of uh, stairs. Now, uh, after last part 10, I struggled once more to try to find a solution to get a way of accessing the giant blue mansion that will be on the back of the layout at uh, 20 centimeters from the lower level. <laughs> stairs, yes. Ramps, yes. But you already have stairs. Many stairs and ramps in this 2024 new Christmas village. So I decided to go wild, crazy once again and try to find some sort of natural elevator that can also accommodate some buildings, some small buildings or props. It will be in three levels, 20 divided by 3, 6, 12, 18, almost 6.5, 6.6 centimeters each level. And the base, guys, will be this guy here, that is 55 centimeters. Yes, 55 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Let me use it like this. Okay, then I have 
a strange piece I wanted to add. This one, guys, this is a strange, I know. I have uh, 30 centimeters there. And uh, these 30 centimeters have an arc, not a gothic arc, a standard arc this time. And I want to place it here, guys, like that, 6.6 centimeters, 8, okay, like that. When I can, I use my skewers, so let's get those and assemble this thing here, okay. One skewer there. And another one. There. Okay. So let's say we put three, one in the middle, two. Like that. Okay. Then I need. a way of accessing this level here uh, of accessing, sorry guys this level here from the ground level and I made obviously a ramp from zero to six point six centimeters and the guys it gets under the arc there I simply need to place it correctly and this ramp is five centimeters the arc is five centimeters wide okay so I will get these connected there with another skewer let's try to get perfectly in line like that another one let's say I will add the third one like that then up here up there and then and then once again six centimeters point six millimeters uh, to get access to another level so I have another ramp a little shorter because this one is 55 centimeters, no, it is 60 centimeters. I don't think, yes, it is a little more than, yes, 50, 55, 60, okay. And this one is 55 centimeters. So it is 
50 centimeters. Okay, guys. It is 50 centimeters. I like this one, like that, okay? So ramp here, then access here, then getting up. Now let's fix this, like that. Now here I have another level to add, so I made another strange type of support there that has two normal arcs wider than this one. The first one was five centimeters, those one are seven centimeters. These help me get to another level, but also bring light to what will be in the middle and also have a way of looking at what will be there. So the two arcs there. They can support weight, obviously, but they also are good for having a, a good amount of light getting towards the center. Okay, guys? Like that. So guys, I let like, take a look to this side here. Two arcs there, one arc there. To get to the first level. But this is just uh, 13 point, uh, 13, 6 point 6, 12, 13 point, uh, 13.5, almost 13.5. 6.6 6 multiplied by 2 equals 12, 13.2. 13.2. Now, I need to get to 20 centimeters. So, here, here, from this side, I will add this one. So, in the middle you get the axis, here you get another way of getting through. There. Like that. Okay, but we were at this level here that needs that's need, need nothing because it gets let, yes, let's get this fixed also from the other side. Like that. So first, second, now third one. And for the third one, for having the same uh, way of watching through and having lights, I made a one, two, three, four, five arc structure. Those are I forgot to mention uh, railway arcs, so wider and then taller uh, and it, it has a better way of supporting the structure, but I will not add any railway. Okay. 
like this. Good. And then another ramp there, guys. But also another piece there. And if I made everything correctly, this should be 20 centimeters tall. EPIA, guys. 20 centimeters. So let me fix this. Like that, guys, and from the side, guys, you can see that it is visible what will be here at this level here. Okay, so this is another crazy way of having some sort. Where did I get inspired by this? By Roman architecture, by Roman aqueducts that were made like this, arcs supporting the weight, then the aqueduct was on top of here. I mixed uh, some ramps with Roman architecture, guys. Never, never, never forget old times architecture. It is absolutely, absolutely necessary. And you can see the result, it is a huge structure, but I will use it in a place where it's good to have it. And here I will have some buildings. Not, not here guys, not from up until there because you need to get here then have access here then getting up there then getting up to 20 centimeters there and there and here at this level here you will have the blue giant mansion so here in the middle I will find a place for some buildings or other things, maybe a market. Why not a market with the stores here? This can be a useful, a useful way of having a market. Obviously, I miss the fences here. I will not need fences because this will be against the wall. But here fences, here fences, here fences, and here too, and here too. And then obviously on, uh, on the far side here, fences. But I'm far from that. I wanted this type of structure that will take a good, uh, maybe too much space. I don't like this, that maybe I will also add some glue. Yes, I will add some glue. Uh, then I will add some some walls, I will add anything, but this is a good way of accessing a level 12, 20 centimeters, not standard 12 centimeters level, but a 20 centimeters level using a space and not wasting completely the space. Obviously, I if I place some <laughs> Uh, market uh, stall there, we also need other things, but also a building will fit there. I don't know right now, but uh, I will use this and then update you in the next weeks. And by the way, the arcs, the arc is there, everything is there. So guys, crazy as always. 
here I have something you have seen in the final recap of part 10. This will be the base for the team at section 2. That initially first step is 300 by 270 millimeters, so 27 centimeters there, okay, by 30 centimeters. Huge, huge <laughs> section, and you have seen where it will be where it will be placed because I only have that spot left this huge okay but now the first team section has no movement not real the light is moving so I add that as a movement this section here once again, will be very shocking, <laughs> very long to finish, but also very, 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 very shocking. Uh, be advised, not for this part, but in future, this will be very shocking. And uh, I need a movement, I need uh, some type of movement. That we know the, uh, the figurines that will be there and other things. You have already figured out that I would add some uh, rusted things, rusted mechanics that are not moving. The figurines will not move. I will not have a water there. So I needed something to simulate movement because a good section needs to have movement, every Christmas village need to have movement. Movement for excellency is a train and it is missing from my Christmas villages since 2022. This will be the second year in a row that I gave a leave of, ab leave of absence to my beloved train, my a giant train <laughs> I'm almost sobbing right now but maybe it will be it will come back in 2025 but I need movements the windmill will not be there maybe not the I said pond <laughs> I need movement the light is moving okay Fountain, maybe the Lemax Fountain will be there, but I'm not sure. I want something different. So I needed a something to animate this section, but not conventional. Okay, I took my lapis. You certainly know what propellers are. Nowadays, they are used by boats to get them in motion. Under the water, you have a propeller that push the water backwards. And for, for the, one of the main physics law, it generates a force equivalent and opposite, pushing the boats forward. Propeller, water there, boat here. And in old times, propellers were also used by planes, by aircraft, to push the air under the wings and allow the plane and the aircraft to fly. But, and in nowadays, even modern uh, planes, aircraft have uh, propellers, but they are inside those big cylinders you see when you Go up, you take a plane, okay? You get inside a plane. Uh, inside those giant cylinder under the wings, generally they are attached to the wings, you have propellers, mm, modern propellers, that are called a turbine, that aspire the air from the front of the plane and push it backwards 
allowing the plane to get in motion and to push the air under the wings and the plane, the aircraft, take off. Uh, turbines, propellers are similar. But a boat is horizontal, a plane is horizontal, a modern plane, a modern aircraft is horizontal. But do they exist vertical propellers, <laughs> vertical turbines? Of course, guys! They are called VAW. T. Vertical axis wind turbines. Okay, vertical axis wind turbine. They are not used to <laughs> get spacecraft into the atmosphere and outside into the space, but they are used to generate green energy. They transform wind into electricity. So vertical axis because they are vertical, wind they are activated by wind, turbine because they are propellers, they have turbines, okay? And if you connect them to a motor, you get electricity, green electricity for your home, for your supplies. I will not do a vertical axis wind turbine, but I wanted to use the design of a vertical axis wind turbine to get motion, to get animation to my section. One type can be this one, guys. And you can see the design they have. Okay, guys. Those strange design here is made to make the wind getting through and to get these rotating uh, quickly and quickly. Okay, faster and faster. And this is connected to a road that is connected to an um, electric motor that generates uh, current electricity. It is like an eolic energy. Eolic electrical energy. You have certainly seen nowadays in the in the country, those a giant pole having dozens of feet in eight, um, dozens of meters in eight, and having a propeller on top of them. And that propeller is activated by the wind that generates electricity. But those are more short, more small, uh, turbine, okay, propellers activated by the wind. I will not have a wind in my <laughs> Christmas village, but I can add a motor to this. And this was one of the design I wanted, a small thing. Then there is also some other classic design, guys, like this one larger and you can see the diameter this is small this is large and uh, these two has a design like that okay that can generate a uh, motion why because guys if this will be shocking I also want something more soft, like, and I know what you will say, you are completely out of your mind, you are, you are crazier than ever, the craziest people 
Why don't... <laughs> no. Okay, why don't? But I want this as something that can dance. <laughs> why adding some, some something poetic to this section? Because it is like that. I want these to be imagined as some sort of dance, getting homage, getting an homage to what will be in there. And this will do movement. Uh, but a strange movement. Let me get a motor here for you guys. Okay, here I have a motor. Let me fix this with some double-sided tape, this off, and I will fix the motor there. Just for sample, then I will start building something. Then I will get a couple of wires, I will attach them with some crocodiles there. Then, 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 let me try, uh, let me try something, I don't know. Uh, yes. Let me have this connected there. It's simple, a small uh, plastic uh, pipe. Then I will have a road. I know it is all shredded or curved or, or not perfect vertical straight road. But I wanted this to be like that. I will place this here. I will fix nothing right now, okay? I will not fix this right now. Let me have... I'm testing, okay? Let me have this. And then you can see that it is not horizontal because the rod, the pole, the central pole is curved, is banded from different sides. Then I will go with the minimum power of 3 volts. This is the voltage I choose for this motor, that is the same motor I've already used for the um, disco ball in my first teammate section. Not the same motor, but uh, equivalent motor, okay? Too, too, too slow, guys. For this, let me go to 9 volts. Like that. And then... I will go like that, and this is getting up and side, like three dancers dancing around. I don't know, it, maybe you can't see it from this side, but this is getting some sort of dance. And if I want to go the opposite way, I simply need to invert positive and negative. This is the advantage of those motor there. They will go and it will go the opposite way, okay? And now it is going uh, counterclockwise, okay? This is some sort of dense, uh, dense, damaged dense because this is old 
if I, uh, I will have some rusted uh, cogs, some rusted mechanisms, some rusted things used or no more used there, I need this to be the only thing working functional in this section, but not perfect. This is a dance for something that is no more there, but it's going from one side, from the other, and not perfectly vertical. I will not use the wind, but I will use the motor to simulate a movement. And those propellers, those vertical axis wind turbine or wind turbine, are the most elegant one I ever seen. A propeller is not elegant, but these are the design here is uh, very elegant. Uh, let me try to show you the dance. I don't want to get electrocuted. So let me have my hand isolated with some plastic. And let's try this like that and I want to show you the dance if I can you see that this is dancing around and it is uh, It's like three dancer dancing around, or if you prefer, three ghosts <laughs> dancing around. But no, this is nothing, not related to ghosts or uh, phantoms. Okay, this is. I wanted this to simulate some uh, dancer dancing around. Okay, like this, and not having the road completely vertical. It gets like this, it's doing like this, it's going up, down, like this. I want this effect here. Okay, guys, let's stop this. So, this little model here and this road. Okay, guys, I can also show you uh, the other one, the other propeller, but I don't think it is the same effect, guys. Okay. Uh, it is. I don't like it. Sincerely, I don't like it. Even this one, because it is too small, guys. It is too small. And even if I place it like that. Mm, Having these too small, it's something uh, only turning around. You need to be wider and to get something and have the effect of something going up and down like this and then turning. So dancing and turning around. This one is too small in diameter. It will not do the job. Okay, guys, that's why I started by modeling this, I tried it like that, like you are seeing me like that, and then decided to change the design and go with this type of propeller here uh, and this kind of uh, turbine or propeller if you want, and that I will not fix right now, but the coupling of those two things is absolutely good for what I have in mind, guys. Okay, now let's have uh, these there. The propeller is for a later time. I just wanted to show you what will be the movement. And now the real job start. I need a way to integrate that motor into this section here, guys. Let me take something. 
So here I have a cylinder, styrofoam cylinder, and the two strange pieces there. The cylinder is 6.3 centimeters in diameter and the cylinder will go there, I think. But not just the cylinder, I've also made, I've also made some strange things like that. Okay, and like that, okay? So this will be the structure that I will add, I will add there, guys. Okay, and this is 17 centimeters tall. Uh, first thing first, I need to connect those three pieces together and I will use some epoxy glue. Okay, guys, let me check. Yes, it can. I will not attach it there. But right now, I need then I will need to fill up the gaps there, but it's simply a matter of adding some glue. Right now I need to hide this motor here. Somehow inside there. And where, no, I will go this way here. Okay. I will need this to get as horizontal as possible and to hide it inside. And right now, right now, I don't know how. I will need to to dig a hole there or to cut a hole in here but uh, this is horizontal yes this is horizontal so so I will go in there
Good guys, let's test this if it works. It needs some enlargements. Okay guys, I think it works. Obviously, I need to fix this. But it's not now the moment to fix the, the, the road there. Now, 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 now. A town, a city, a village, a Christmas village. They all have in common houses, residential homes, shops, churches, schools and figurines. Those are the basics. But it is not enough to have a good representation of a real life. We also need the fountains, parks, park benches, street lamps, etc. And then, and then other type of buildings that makes them real. It is time for another building for the left side of the village, of the layout. But after what I just said, it will not be a home, a house. Until now, I've only just shown you houses except for the um, gazebo from part 10, from last part. Now, I will show you this item slash building here, guys. Obviously, this is my vision of a clock tower, a very tall clock tower. Uh, I've imagined this for a village that is between old times and modern times, ancient times and modern times, with obviously the clock there and I've used the same color scheme as the houses bluish and yellowish the blue roof the gold and then the base is the columns of the base are stone and then the rest is a wood this is a transition. Then you have the floor that has some big giant uh, stones. Once again, the uh, color scheme you have seen. 
And that's why if I use it, also those giant stones floor for the gazebo, then the rounded edges I've modeled for my 2023 Christmas Village, for last season Christmas Village, two trees, and then an arcs there. Obviously, I can add benches, park benches there. This is usable. Then, guys, one, two, three, and four gargoyles. Now you understand why I've, you start to understand, because it's not finished, why I used also gargoyles with the right side of the plaza, because I used them also for the left side. I need a junction between the right and left side. But those four gargoyles are the same gargoyle, and it is a shouting gargoyle. Obviously, I would love to, to add a real mechanism, a real clock mechanism there. I've searched for it online for a month and a half, but I didn't find anything suitable having this tiny dim dimension here. This is not a giant, this is only three centimeters in diameter inside these three centimeters so the mechanism and uh, uh, would have been too small I haven't found it maybe you can but I haven't some uh, vines there on the wood different type of wood this is one part then another design then a third and then a fourth and this building is usable from four different side. You see there that I added some uh, sort of um, pipe, of copper pipe, because I wanted to hide the wires, because I have four couple of wires, because one, two, three and four lanterns are real lanterns. They will project the light on the clock, but also on the floor. That's why I say that this is usable from four sides. I left here some, uh, uh, some space if I wanted to add another two trees like those one that are made from bricks for the base, for the ground, then the trees. I can add another couple of trees there, if I want. This is a simple design, then I add the tree there uh, and made it one single piece, but the trees are detachable. I can disassemble the trees while modeling if I want. Then some sort of a shield there with nothing inside right now and the arcs there to pass through with the people getting access for or going around the tower clock or getting the short the short way passing under the clock tower it's not working it's not functional it is very tall taller than anything made by Lemax any clock tower made by Lemax and this needs to be seen from the distance that's why I made this so tall and the edges you recognize them from my 2023 Christmas village those one have no trees on top of the two corners there but the gazebo have uh, I've shown you the gazebo uh, as a surprise in part uh, 9, in part 10, sorry. And then I painted everything in grey, blue, um, yellowish, three shades of brown, three layers of different browns for the wood, two 
layers of green for the edges and then the white simulating some icy some ice some uh, some snow that will come lately this is my vision of a, a clock tower obviously I also added those connectors there that are the same I use I generally use for connecting the uh, street lamps uh, to the AC adapters I will consider these as a giant structure having four street lamps and I will connect them to the main wires um, transporting the current through the layout and they work guys I use the 1.8 millimeter um, LEDs inside that you have seen me using many times and this will be an addition to the uh, left side final recap of part 11 of the 2024 season and i am starting with the mini revolution i did there where i switched those two buildings the pub and the first team at section simply because this is huge guys is 30 centimeters and almost 20 centimeters uh, tall and it prevented me for having a good view of the mini lake and the uh, waterfalls there and also uh, preventing me for adding some other buildings there along uh, along the path that goes there but instead I can have one building there then a small one I think I will place a small one here in this corner so I, I will have a mini path in there with other buildings there this is a better solution I think for this and it also helped me separating a little more the first from the se second team at section and then because uh, the point of view here if I go up 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 and you have now the big mansion blue mansion there is better like this in, instead of having the um, uh, the stage there impeding me to watch whatever I have behind and then the uh, Alice in Wonderland the team section has also a back wall that is that has some small holes so it is like having a wall that is transparent so I can see even through it and I can see some arcs in the wall behind it and then I can see the section I must thanks Romans ancient Romans and all the architecture that have that they have provided really inspiring me for getting this done even from the side guys with the arcs there and uh, I was shocked by how interesting could be the architecture of the Roman aqueducts uh, all over Italy all over the ancient world and I think this work I also made a test with some uh, stores there the jingle bells the candy and the tea uh, shop there and you can see uh, under the arc you have a passage there behind and then getting under the first arc then up there then turning then getting up here then turning then getting up here and I can reach this new section this elevated section it is 20 centimeters um, elevated and I have just one mansion but I think I will add a second building and there guys and this is isolated this section from this one so you need to climb down every stairs to get access here and then climb there but maybe I also get a little bridge there I don't know right now but I'm tempted by adding a little bridge there having to cut some holes there <coughs> but then having the bridge a bridge there that I don't have right now 
but yes i have the ones from lemax but they are too small uh, too already seen so i would probably go with some other i like lemax the good buildings let me repeat that good buildings from lemax i love them some other things i hate but it's like that okay guys sorry lemax uh, oops i heard uh i heard someone shooting at me right now but maybe i'm imagining it but i must pay attention to not be uh, hit by a hitman right now so this is far from being completed i still needed to make some more so the fences everything but i think it is a good way to not waste too much space it takes so much space to have some not too steep ramps to access 20 centimeter and it is 55 almost 60 centimeters long okay guys but i hate wasting a good space uh, with just a sim one simple ramp along this wall would have been too steep no let do let's do that maybe i will add another building i can accommodate another building or another couple of building maybe there against that but right now it is just a test sorry for the mess of the all the wires but i'm far from uh, being completed and now even if i have the first team section i can imagine i can see through it and i'm I know that I have a wall behind so I can explore getting around and I will have a road there getting there and then continuing towards the tree there something will happen in the corner there so I have much more space for the other buildings for the uh, right side nothing has changed here guys really nothing has changed here um, but this mini revolution I don't think it is too bad now the point of view here is not that bad guys okay I can watch towards and narrow uh, buildings allow me to get access to some different ways to access another building can be accommodated I just just simply need a small road getting access here here there will be some stairs Let me slide towards the left there. I know this is a huge team at the section. Let me switch this on so you can see everything moving. And with this turning and having different colors behind, uh, I don't think it is a bad effort. All will be in there but up until that 17 centimeters the dock the uh, rebecca's dock is visible from this point of view that will not be impeded by anything but i cannot always have a plain side building buildings in plain sight constantly i need yes this is rough very awful right now unpainted and everything uh, but these uh, turbine there this vertical axis wind turbine that it is not used like that but it is used for me like a dance for what will be there then the real uh, action will be developed here and a little in this corner so it will not be impeded the view of all Rebecca's house and the trees and everything else maybe i will shorten a little this section but right now it is like that and the motor is making uh, some loud noise right now because it's not closed behind so there but thinking of what will be there i don't think that the school is suited for what i uh, i will have here so i will switch maybe with another building uh, because I don't want young ones to be just in front of what will be there even if sooner or later they need to start 
realize what real life is. <laughs> uh, yes, okay, I know you don't know what I am, what I have in my mind right now, but let me laugh a little bit, okay? So here uh, I will switch with another building. Most probably I will switch with another building. And this, I don't know, maybe I will paint each single uh, one a different color like three different people style still uh, some version some stylized version for me at least for my crazy for my uh, absolutely out of the blue mind completely dumb completely crazy completely completely not sane but totally insane mind what will be some three people dancing around in some movement that goes down and up down and up and getting also around now you have also vibration of the road etc because it is not a fixed so sounds with sound okay guys then you have maybe already seen a part of it but let me to, 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 to get up there, get up there, get up here. No, still not painted the gazebo. Sorry, I call it it the patio in part uh, in part 10. But thank you for having corrected me. It is a gazebo, a gazebo, gazebo, not a, a patio. The patio is for the houses. Then I will climb up. The stair and then ta da the clock tower in his magnificence will be sorry for the camera but I need to get this far from it in order to have you seen everything and here I will have buildings obviously this will be a very densely populated uh, section and let me have uh, let me go closer there with the gargoyles you have already seen but not from this point of view and then the two the four lanterns there that we are a white a pure white and then this is the effect of the clock i know green background is not the best choice but it will soon change it i will wait before adding the background to go to the my annual trip to the Christmas store department to Peraga because maybe I will find a new type of background there so because I have the backgrounds but they are the same from last season I don't know maybe I will use them and maybe I will find something new and the passage here the floor please look at those stones there they are smaller but the path is similar to the path you have here so i will have continuity in this section all along this section continuity in design here i have the uh, curved uh, hedges with the trees those are the um, biggest uh, versions uh, of them but always the same design like those one like those edges here and you have them there and the gargoyles uh, are mm, the finish layer is some iridescent uh, silver i can get them in focus yes right now like that maybe i need to go from the down like that guys okay uh, and use a macro but you can access there and I will add some park benches this is part of uh, an important section that will be here up to you to judge I told you it wasn't a house during the intro but a building and this is a building a well-needed building and guys way taller of any Lemax uh, clock tower and for me it's the good design but I you know I'm much of the times wrong but 
I like it. Up to you to judge if I'm once again crazy or not. <coughs> and I have the shield here. And guys, if last part I went with this surprise here, in this part I will go with that surprise and there. It's not a secret that I told you during the past months, the only the early stages of this new season, that I wanted a graveyard. This is a big graveyard, I know. Maybe I will slide it some more against the mountain there. But every city, every Christmas village has should have also a graveyard and this is a huge graveyard guys okay guys sorry i had to switch off the motor because it was a little noisy right now i was uh, telling you it is a big gigantic graveyard i know i also modeled some uh, tombstones some crypt some uh, crosses and etc it still needed to be finished to be completed and uh, the entry guys has two lanterns there one and one two and then a shield there guys and obviously a shield here the one on top of the graveyard entry is a little uh, bigger just some millimeters but it, they, there is nothing on the shield. Generally, in the past, the shields were used to represent some house, like House of the Dragon, etc. But in this case, it has been lost during the centuries, and so there is nothing marked on the shield. Maybe the houses that build uh, the house that build this village and this graveyard is in disgrace right now and the two lanterns there are working also and the two trees there i still miss plenty of things but i have secretly secretly worked on this graveyard for the last three weeks modeling and 3d printing priming painting and obviously uh, walls are different here i have some ivies some vines there i have a, a bench there so i want this to be livable as much as uh, as uh, possible guys and everything there is uh, modular uh, i was saying i have some more space there to get it slided towards the mountain and maybe i will do so to give it because right now it is not symmetrical two uh, wall section there just the one wall section from this side it is not symmetrical <coughs> i think it can work but i'm not sure right now and as everything i model recently the columns and the walls are uh, modular guys okay this is a pure a stone a wall like like that and the columns are you can insert the columns uh, the walls in ugh, maybe i need let me place the camera somehow right now and then i will do it like this and you can slide the walls inside each time it will prevent the wall and the column to fall down and it is modular like that so you can add pieces by pieces uh, i modeled these having some part in common with the golden roofs there okay but with some more freezes there but i don't think i will go with the gold because gold is not really suited for a graveyard maybe some silver or something like that then the the tiles there are similar to the uh, roof tiles you have on everything else but those one are a uh, smallest one then here uh, i don't want it uh, to a uh, tall wall if i take sorry rebecca i will 
get there so they are not as tall as figurines and it can get people seeing through it but also preventing people to get access to the to the graveyard uh, i have also modeled it for the parts the wall i'm talking the modular new modular system walls i know each season i try to model something modular and those walls are modular you can add uh, different uh, types of uh, walls and different uh, design there and go maybe i should place rebecca where she belongs there but i don't know it is a surprise maybe i will not use it but come on guys even a graveyard can make a good a good uh, um, a good city a good uh, village a good town and i think i still have three big houses to get there then some other three or four different buildings i can manage to have all them there and then have the graveyard here shifted slided then behind getting up uh, once again and then having the uh, the North Pole section, the Santa's section or maybe I was thinking, I don't know what you think about it, having some of the buildings of the North Pole section in common with the upper lake there because I have some flat surfaces there. I still need to work on it. It's still September as I told you so maybe yes maybe not here I was thinking adding some not my standard uh, um, printed cobblestone but real cobblestone roads for only these little square there that still miss plenty of things but I have a dozens of tasks open and obviously i will add vegetations there mm, trees mitoloxis uh, uh, my seafoam um, i'm i still need to use them then uh, i went crazy but i'm not talking you about it i want uh, something in common for each of the houses and of the buildings in this section but right now I don't know if I can get the supplies I want and then oh yes guys the other section elevated obviously is this one okay that I went with some part of the mountain but I need to do some plastering there but here you go through this arc then you go through this other arc here you can access Rebecca's there but there to get access from behind there to up there <laughs> i'm struggling to try to find a solution there it's not that big the space and no i don't want a, a turning around the stairs okay um, um no i don't want it but i don't have too much space from the border here to there and then along there to climb 20 more centimeters there or so so I'm really struggling to try to find some crazy solution as always as I did for this point of view there guys okay and the arcs guys are beautiful because they let you see through and they support and everything okay once again thanks roman architects and uh, what i missed from the graveyard oh so oh yes the walls can be used from this side on the other side so they are not symmetrical from one side and from the other where you have some park benches the other side of the wall doesn't have park benches okay and uh, i still need to add some other things there but it is starting to have a different look a strange look 
I don't know if I will have some Lemax buildings in this section. Maybe I will limit here and then up here all the other similar buildings. I want to see if with some similar buildings it can be good looking. Maybe I will ruin my uh, Christmas village, my layout, but I insist that I don't want uh, to add Lemax buildings right now here. I have enough uh, houses, buildings, props modeled during January, February, March, March, April, and I'm still modeling things, uh, buildings, props right now. Obviously, guys, I've, I've used the same trees there and there. I have not modeled some other types of trees. Uh, for these two um, buildings there. Let me call the graveyard a building. And no, this is not a spooky town. This is not an Halloween village. But don't have you in your towns, in your cities, also graveyard. So why not a Christmas village? It can be festive. Maybe it is a certainly kitsch, but I've seen during my 50 and more years uh, of being on this earth, even graveyards decorated for Christmas during the uh, holiday season, but I will not do that. But around there will be Christmas villages, uh, <laughs> sorry, Christmas trees and other festive, because right now you have nothing demonstrating that is that Christmas is approaching, guys. But I will get to there. I just have, as I told you, 12, 20 tasks open and no one is nearly there to be, to be closed, okay, and you are all shouting, this is too tall. It is 17 centimeters, guys, this one is taller than this section here, okay, guys, if I place uh, the the pub there it is taller than my section this is nothing because it is a see-through object that is turning around so it's not too tall at least for me guys because uh, it is uh, shorter than average Lamax building this one is too short I know but this one too is taller if i'm placing it under it taller than the school is taller than my uh my second team at the section okay and i don't know if you want to see some houses there or it is good to have some sort of a market of christmas market there but I will certainly not have the space to add all the Christmas that stole there because they, I have 20 of them. They will not get uh, all inside there. But I can continue along this wall here. Maybe. Right now, I don't know right now. What else, guys? Nothing. Nothing, guys. Next week, another couple of surprises, I think, for part 12 to uh, to get the result of uh, three months of work more than three months of work part 12 will be three months of work generally people complete their christmas villages in three months i will not uh, bye guys see you for the outro i beg your pardon mac no, thank you. Not hot cocoa for me. Not right now. Come on, Mac. Uh, we are still in summer. It's mid-September. Not even fall. Not even winter. Come on, Mac. Come on. I know what you are thinking. That I am always shouting at him. Even if it is older than me, wiser than me, more intelligent than me. But it's like sometimes, no, not sometimes, every time, like having to talk to a seven-year-old little child. 
It's frustrating. Some other examples of my crazy architecture, my crazy mind, my need to be internet mind. Three of them, three or three of them, let me call the first one the Roman ramps to get access to the new uh, elevated section with some market in plain middle, but maybe I will modify it. Then, then the tallest, the tallest uh, clock tower ever built by mankind and uh, a giant, a gigantic graveyard. All three examples of never seen from me before architecture. Maybe you don't like them, maybe I'm really crazy. I know that I'm crazy, but you don't believe me every time or sometimes. Then uh, what may have shocked you with <laughs> the second team section that uh, you can't guess right now. I know it's very rough, but it is not too tall. I'm crazy, I know, believe it, I'm crazy. Please, and don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my awful English and see you for part 12 and we'll be celebrating the three months uh, achievement, but only if you really wish or want. Bye guys.